So let me, I'm just gonna jump in and do a couple little matches here and uh, hopefully give you guys a sense of what's going on. So when you're playing in, in classic controller mode, you're gonna um, use a control stick down here to move. Um, this is the equivalent of the C stick on the GameCube. The right control stick is, so it'll be quick smashes in every direction. The D-pad is taunt. There you'll find that there's three different taunts. I'm sure you guys will be making good use of them. Um, B button is your, the small B button is your attack button, the Y button is your special moves button, and both of these are jump. Shields, uh, the Z triggers are actually your quick grab, but you can, of course, grab by shielding and attacking at the same time as well. Uh, all right, let me do some Samus. We'll pop in. Anybody have a choice of where you guys want to see first? Let's call it out. Nothing? All right. We'll, do, uh, we'll just go to straight up battlefield. So <clears throat> everything will feel pretty familiar to you. Um, if you've played a lot of Smash, you'll be very used to throwing out Smash attacks as fast as you can. Um, this is a, uh, you'll see a lot of items drop. This actually is a GUI bomb, which is now is on Mario. If you get one of those on you, you basically want to overlap with somebody else. If you, can, if you can cross over them, it'll stick to them instead. Oh, there we got a pitfall. Throw that out, I'm using some in the dirt. All right, I'm gonna get a little charge up. And what you're probably gonna see, and unfortunately there's no way I can actually physically spawn it to uh, make my demo really awesome, is the appearance of a Smash Ball. Um, hopefully one will show up here. And Smash Balls, the key, you've of course seen the, the final Smash that gets unleashed when you get one of these Smash Balls, but the mechanic of them is really interesting actually. They'll, they appear on screen and start floating around sort of randomly. And, oh, there's an assist trophy, hang on. <laughs> That's the uh, Advance Wars. <laughs> so Smash Balls basically appear on screen. Hopefully there'll be one in here. And you don't just automatically grab them. Oh, there's nothing in there. Terrible. Uh, what happens is they'll float around, and you really just have to, oh, there's one. So you have to pound on them for a while before they actually release their goodness. So you're madly chasing around with everybody else on screen, and if you're right there when it appears, then you get it. Uh, and then all you have to do is hit your special move button to unleash it, which uh, he's not. Okay, there he goes. Yes. Enjoy that. Uh, and with Samus, of course, she turns into Zero Suit Samus right afterwards. Different Final Smashes have different effects. I mean, some of them are automatically just going to rain absolute terror down on everyone. Uh, others, you actually have to do stuff. That particular one, I had to get lined up on the side of the screen, make sure that he was going to be in my horizontal path, and then unleash it. Um, ooh, wow, you got one. Ooh, there's another one. You actually could see her, the pieces of her armor fell off there. You can pick those up and huck them around to people. Um, all right, let me do, I'll tell you what. Let me pop this thing out. Let me show you one uh, with just the Wii Remote. And this will, depending on your guys' experience, this, you may love this and you guys may not like this. This is a, a, a if you're a seasoned Smash vet, it's certainly gonna feel very different to you because you're used to playing with a control stick, you're used to playing with a lot of buttons. And the Wii Remote really, really simplifies things. And actually, in my mind, it sort of, it takes me back to NES days because you're doing a lot of the similar movements. Um, you move around with the D-pad, uh, double tap to dash. So uh, again, it's sort of similar to old school fighters. Um, attack is two. Special attack is one. Your shield button is actually under here. So that's the thing that's going to take uh, the most getting used to, I think, for a lot of you guys. Um, you're basically tapping it with your, your middle finger, depending on the size of your hands. Um, grab can be minus button, or again, it can be uh, the, the shield button and attack at the same time. Um, let's do link. Maybe we'll throw Sonic in there just to show you guys. Sonic is actually really hard to control. He's really, really fast. So you, you guys who like playing Fox or Falco in the, in the old game, really going to enjoy him. He's a really, really high-speed character, as you would expect. Uh, all right, let's hop in. I love playing his Link. So Link has uh, his boomerang again. His model is, is the Twilight Princess model. So. Um, he, of course, has Twilight Princess items. That's the Gale Boomerang. It actually pulls characters back over towards you once you use it. His hero's bow. Uh, he's got his bombs. Yeah. 
just chasing down Sonic is sometimes a pain. Uh, one of the other changes for Link's model is that you can actually charge up his up and B. This is actually a really cool level. This is the Star Fox Pleiades level. And as you can see, we're basically shooting through these wormholes. And uh, randomly, you'll be in the middle of a battle. You'll be in the middle. You'll be on Corneria's surface. Oh, oh, that's not good. Home Run Bat is actually really, is a little bit different in this one as well. It has unique animations for each character. It's really cool. Oh, that's not good either. I just got a small mushroom, which is, of course, not good. Oh, that's not good either. He just unleashed Armageddon up there. That was a smart bomb. And again, rules, same rules apply. I mean, you're basically playing King of the Hill, so you really just getting knocked off isn't gonna isn't gonna do you in. You need to always try to get back, no matter what you do. Oh no! All right, so he got my Smash Ball. <laughs> Uh, and now he's supersonic, which means you can just fly around and basically pummel me at will. Derp. Oh, man. It's always bad when the computer AI totally steals your thunder in a demo, but sometimes the computer AI is smarter than I am. What can I say? Um, so, again, you guys are just going to have to play around with it. We have some stations set up with Wii remotes, some set up with classic controllers. I highly encourage you to try out both. I mean, even if you think you already know you're going to want to play with the class controller, give this a shot. It's actually quite a bit of fun. Um, and again, the it, you can do mix and match with the final product. You're going to be able to mix and match any controller styles. You're going to have you know, all your friends. You're going to come in, pick your profile, and it's automatically going to pick what you want to play. I think that's probably enough for now. You guys are going to want to go and check it out for yourselves.